More than a quarter million breast dogs are performed every single year in the United States. This is the HBRS Medical Minute with Dr. Clayton Molliver. Dr. Molliver, you, you've been at it a really long time with breast augmentation surgery. How long? I think you're calling me old, but no. I'm going to let that go. <laughs> I, I've been doing breast augmentations for 28 years. Uh, I've done over 10,000 breast augmentations. Is this the number one surgery that you perform? You know, it really is. I, I do a lot of breast augmentation surgery or augmentations and mastopexies, but you know, it's in there. Yeah. Talk to me about the patient. Has, has she changed over the years? You know, the patient hasn't changed that much. Uh, I see a lot more patients who are into working out, uh, CrossFit, they're fit, they're coming in, they're, they're more petite than they'd like to be. They'd like to feel a bit more feminine. Maybe they've had a baby or two and their breasts have deflated. Uh, so these are the similar patients we've seen for a long time. What about the surgery? Has that evolved? You know, the, the techniques for breast lift have evolved. Uh, breast augmentation really has not changed too, too much. You know, I'm involved in research. I do a lot of research and write papers about this and, uh, and keep up in the literature. And we now know that hardening around these implants after a few years is all bacterially mediated. So we use orthopedic techniques to prevent anything from touching the implant. We insert the implant through a funnel. It's a no-touch technique. Uh, but the techniques, how we operate, haven't changed that much. Thanks, Dr. Molliver. For more information on breast augmentation, you can call the office or go to the website.